Hello, everybody. We are back again with the Yaesu FTDX10. And uh, there are a lot of videos on uh, YouTube that you can find on this radio that uh, talk about all manner of things, settings mostly, different setups for receive and transmit and uh, FT8 and CW and all that kind of stuff. And um, But I, I don't really see any videos at all just showing the basic functionality of the radio and really what your settings when you change things like um, mic gain or um, uh, pro speech processor level, AMC level, that type of thing, you know, what, what that's netting you. And in my last video, I showed you the settings that um, I found work the best for lowest third order intermodulation distortion on sideband. And tonight I'm looking at AM. So what we uh, we're, we're tuned to the middle of the 10 meter band, 28.400 megahertz. And um, I also noticed another thing too. So right now you see my AM settings here. I've got mic gain set to 20 again. Mic EQ is on. Doesn't seem to make a difference either way, just like with sideband. Speech processor level, I haven't changed. It's still at 13 from my sideband settings. AMC level was, uh, I've got set at 70. And I'll show you what that nets me as far as um, our actual output. Now, one thing I, I've noticed, though, is that we see... Uh, AMC level set at 70 right now. I, I've done that, and I set the mic gain to 20. I think it was originally actually at, at 30 um, as a factory setting. I'm going to go to upper sideband, let's say, and I'm going to go back into... Uh, oh, no, I guess I was wrong. All right, so it changes. It's a, this is a global setting here for your, for your mic. I thought for a minute there that um, it was different for sideband and for... Um, and for AM, but no, it's not. Okay, so right now what I've found, we'll just go back to AM. I don't know why I thought that. I thought that's what I saw. All right, so we're back at, on AM here, and like I said, mic gains 20, mic EQ on, speech processor is 13, AMC level at 70 this time for AM. And we're going to look at that on, a, on the oscilloscope here. And I'm just running directly out of the back of the radio into my RF sampler that I've made. Um, I've got my four pin Cobra to my RJ45 adapter that I made into the radio. And we're going to key it up. We're going to look at um, the AM waveform. So my signal input here is, uh, as, as far as the audio signal input, is just a one kilohertz tone of 30 millivolts. And we're going to take a look at that here. Uh, on the oscilloscopes, we're going to key it up. We're keyed up, and there you see our waveform. Again, that is not what it looks like from the factory. And that's after the setting changes I made, and it's a beautiful waveform, and that's about a hundred percent. We'll stick it into uh, here, into the HP here, the eighty-nine twenty, and we'll go to this page, and we'll look at our modulation level here on the top right of your screen see right there at 100 percent and my rf power right now what do i have my RF power set at let's see 10 watts so let's just for the sake of argument set this to 50 watts oh no 25 is as high as we can go all right so let's just set it to 20. all right let's go 20 watts and let's see what happens that changes our AM waveform at all. We're going to key up again. And we're key back up. Oh, I forgot. So we're still at 100%. Now we're at 25 watts out peak. And let me uh, look. put it back in the RF sampler. I forgot I had it in the HP. All right, let's look at this waveform, see if anything's changed with the power output settings at higher. No, not really. Just a more ampl amplified signal, but it's basically the same. So nothing's really changed. That's good. That's good to see. But, you know, being a software-defined radio, I guess that's probably the norm. Okay, so 
Uh, we can just take a quick look at it on the on the uh, spectrum analyzer. So I've got this set 30 kilohertz wide here, three channels, and we're just going to key it up and look at our spectrum, see what the radio can produce at those settings, and it's very clean, very very clean. So I guess those will be my settings that I'll uh, be uh, using as far as AM if I was to ever use AM. So I just thought I'd show that and uh, let everybody see. But now let's again let's just play around here. Let's go to mic gain and let's turn our mic gain up to let's say 50. And then we're going to turn our power back down to 10. We see there's really no difference in and the way our waveform looks uh, as far as a change in power output. But we're going to just set now our mic gain is at 50. AMC level is 70. Power output set to 10. And we'll leave it there. And we'll just look at its AM waveform now and see what's changed. Right there in the middle of the uh, mic gain setting at 50. I think it goes all up to 100. Oh, well, look. I keep forgetting I'm in this. Look how much distortion we've added to that signal. That's pretty bad. And that is with the mic gain set at 50. So let's take a look over here on the oscilloscope. We're keyed up there. And look at that waveform. That does not look good. Now that is with the mic gain at 50 now, but AMC is at 70. So let's Again, for the sake of argument, I've already kind of done this, so I already know what's going to happen. All right, we're going to set the AMC back down to, let's oh, let's say um, 25. Now, mic gain is 50, AMC is at 25. Let's look at our waveform again. Let's key it up. All right, we're keyed up. And again, horrible, horrible waveform. And I had already seen this, um, which caused me to change. Now, I think before I started, um, the mic gain was set at 30, I said. So we'll set that back to 30. AMC at 25. And let's take a look. So there you go. Very undermodulated. That's probably about 30, 40%, I think, is what the, that represents right there. 30 or 40% modulation. <clears throat> now, that is what led me to set the mic gain at 20. I think that's what we were at. And then I set my AMC level up to 70. Let's see if that's what I had. All right. So we're going to key that up again. And we're keyed up. And there we go. Beautiful 100% modulation. So keep those settings in mind. I guess if you've Mars modded this or you're using it on... I mean, that's really the only reason I'd see anybody want to use it on AM. But if you Mars modded it and you're using it on the CB band, um, there you go. Uh, let's just throw an, another wrench into the machine here. Let's set our our processor level from 13 up to say 25. Let's see what happens. Let's see if that really changes anything. Not really. Alright. So I'm going to keep the, the processor level, speech processor level at 13 because that's less for me to have to remember to change. Um, so yeah. So you see there that if you really want to get 100% modulation, you don't want to over-modulate, uh, keep your mic gain low on these radios. And this is just a 30 millivolt input signal, and I've tried changing it that input signal level. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've tried changing that input signal level to 10 millivolts, and I've tried 100 millivolts. It doesn't matter. Uh, the output is basically the same. So, uh, there's nothing to gain, <coughs> excuse me, by changing your mic gain or setting your mic gain high on this radio. 
Um, it, it really just adds a lot of intermodulation distortion. I guess it's really just from what I've seen, that's just, that's just the way it is. So, um, yeah, uh, there's your AM settings that yield the, the cleanest output. So, um, also I'd like to show you one other thing, uh, while I'm thinking about it. Let me, uh, set, let's see, I think my AMC level... I did on sideband was 25. I'm just going to put that back to 25, let's say. All right, I'm going to set this to upper sideband. Get back to 28.4. All right. And we're going to look at it on the frequency counter. Now, this frequency counter has a GPS discipline oscillator input on the back. Very, very accurate. And I just wanted to show you... Um, what how how just dead on frequency this radio is when it's uh transmitting so we're going to key up here with just a single tone so we can look at that frequency so we're on upper side band we're keyed up and you see that we are one kilohertz above the fundamental or yeah one kilohertz above the fundamental and she's within look at that two hertz Cheating between two hertz and, and and zero. That's pretty pretty awesome. And we'll look at uh, lower. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, lower. Let's get back down to. Oh, there we go. And we'll we'll see that we're one kilohertz below the fundamental here when we key up. And there it is, one kilohertz below the fundamental within two hertz that's pretty amazing and you know just hold on let me do some button presses here i'm going to be primarily using this on upper side band so i'm going to make sure that i had my i have my settings the way i want them all right let's go back to upper and we'll get back there and we're just going to key it up with two tones 30 millivolts non-harmonically related and let's key up there we go yeah i just wanted to make sure i got my power up higher than i did before but you see how clean that waveform is what's my power level at oh yeah 25 watts i think when i showed you it on my other video I was probably at 15. let's try 15. Yeah, that's what I was at before, 15 watts. So you see, even with power increased, I mean, this, this radio really does do a good job of keeping the intermodulation distortion down to a minimum with, if, if the settings are correct, if, if you've got the right settings in there. So yeah, I, oh, we didn't look at AM. We can look at uh, how close she is to frequency on AM. All right, there we go. We'll turn off. We'll just dead key on AM. We'll take a look at it down here. 28.4. Look at that. Just amazing. Within 2 hertz. That is absolutely amazing. So I continue to get impressed by this radio. And, and like I said, you see a lot of videos from uh, guys on YouTube that are showing you settings after settings after settings but you don't really get to see what some of these basic settings actually do to your your output and uh now you have and again like i've said in the last video now i have this is the first time that i've sat there and just decided to see what were the best mic uh or what, i guess you what everybody's referring to as tx audio settings for uh the best am waveform the best uh, am envelope 100% modulation, and there you see uh, what they are, which is the mic gain at 20, uh, processor level 13, but I'm, I'm just leaving it there because um, it's easier for me to remember between sideband and AM, uh, but AMC level set all the way to 70, and that gives us 100% modulation on our output for AM. So I guess what we'll probably do next in another video, I'm going to set this back down to 25 again, so because I'm going to be on sideband. Um, yeah, that's my settings. 
Um, I guess the next video I'll probably do. Oh, get back there. There we go. Is take a look at um, FM modulation, maybe. Uh, again, probably a mode that I I I don't foresee myself using on this radio anytime soon, but it doesn't really concern me a whole lot. But it might be interesting to see. Uh, what we see on that as well. So I hope that uh, is at least helpful to people who um, want to get the cleanest output. Because, you know, for me, I don't like talking on the air dirty on any radio that I'm using. I want, I want it to be as clean as possible. I want to be able to say to myself, really, that I am uh, adhering to Part 95. Um, you know, it, Part 95 says that... Um, Intermodulation distortion in the third order needs to be um, at least 25 dB down from the fundamental within 8 kilohertz. So um, I, I stick to that when I do all my radio alignments and make sure that I can, I can at least meet that standard. And, you know, as if you watch my last video, this radio can definitely beat that standard. Um, I was getting 35 dB down. Um, off the fen off the fundamental uh, on sideband with this radio with uh, the settings that I had finally settled on. So um, the radio is definitely capable of doing it. I think um, I guess maybe the settings are a little bit misleading as far as um, you know. I, I, again, I when I first was messing with it on upper and lower sideband. I just kind of assumed that 50% or uh, a mic gain setting of 50 was kind of like 50%. Um, I don't know. And 50% would be kind of run of the mill, um, not over modulated, but that was, you know, not accurate. 20 on, it seems now from looking at it, AM and sideband is really where you want to be at uh, if you want to keep your third order intermodulation distortion at a minimum. Uh, and AMC level on sideband, 25 AMC level on AM at, uh, at 70. So, all right, well, there you go. Um, 73s, and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.